straight from the soul with it. What's going on everybody, Diala Ricks TV back with another video and in today's video I'll be discussing the Lakers still potentially acquiring former Toronto Raptors and Spurs forward DeMar DeRozan and possibly, possibly forming the most lethal super team of all time. It's not over people, <laughs> it's not over, which there are still reports and rumblings that the Lakers may still pursue Kings guard Buddy Hill, you know, which makes more sense being as though that the Lakers need to address their shooting woes, but DeMar DeRozan and did an interview um, where he addresses his free agency the headline is the ultimate goal is always to compete for a championship reports have indicated that DeMar DeRozan is willing to take a pay cut to join the Lakers it says that DeMar DeRozan is 31 years old and coming off a max contract this is the stage in a typical player's career in which priorities often change with money in the bank and reputation already established good enough players can choose to make sacrifices for the sake of winning and that appears to be something to DeRozan is willing to do as he approaches free agency. This is an interview that DeMar DeRozan did with Shannon Sharp. DeMar DeRozan says, at this point, you've got to weigh out the opportunity to win a championship, kind of more, DeRozan said, especially with the career I've had. I've been fortunate enough to make good money, but the ultimate goal is always to compete for a championship. It says that DeMar DeRozan has earned a projected $175 million in his career. Nobody would fault him for trying to earn more, but different players want different things. For DeRozan, and winning seems to be the priority and there's an obvious place for him to try to do so if he's willing to take a big enough pay cut. DeRozan grew up in Southern California and played his long collegiate season at USC. Brad Turner of the Los Angeles Times reported that he would be willing to take a lesser payout to sign with his hometown Lakers. Though in fairness he is likely going to have to come down from the $27 million salary he received last season. No matter where he signs the Lakers could come reasonably close to that figure through a sign and trade. Doing so will hark at them at the apron. That is the obstacle that the Clippers will have to overcome if they want to bring him to Los Angeles but both teams could offer him the lower tax player the lower tax player mid-level exception for roughly 5.9 million dollars without restriction that would be an enormous reduction in pay for a former all-star to take but that is the sort of sacrifice that it often takes for a player like him to reach a championship contender such teams rarely have the cap space to sign players like that for market value contracts so if you guys would like to read the full article the link is in the description box if the Lakers in fact do sign DeMar DeRozan, the Lakers will be a super perimeter shooting team. The strategies that teams will have when they defend the Lakers is they will back off of LeBron and Westbrook, shrink the court and go small and force the Lakers to shoot threes. You know, DeMar DeRozan isn't really a great three point shooter, neither is LeBron or Russell Westbrook, especially in the fourth quarter where LeBron and Westbrook go missing. You know, I think Buddy Hill isn't mentally equipped to play in that LA environment with LeBron James and the blame that he's going to get. Yes, he's going to get a ton of open looks, but Buddy Hill isn't a sniper like Klay Thompson or Ray Allen. And if it's some pressure moments in Los Angeles, and if the Lakers need some big shots, if Buddy Hill miss, the type of players that I think the Lakers should pursue are three and D players, you know, three point specialists such as Tim Hardaway Jr. Victor Oladipo could be a possibility. The best player available would clearly be DeMar DeRozan. I would prefer them over Buddy Hill because they're more experienced and more seasoned. You know, some suggested that the Lakers should sign JJ Redick, but clearly the Lakers need some elite perimeter defense. But you guys let me know what y'all think. Should the Lakers sign DeMar DeRozan? Y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.